So we're back with Charles Bronson and his dog Meadles in the post-apocalyptic commonwealth. And when last we left him, he saw a bunch of raiders taking pot shots at something. So. Dog meat goes in. I guess that's what uh, this raider was shooting at. evening out here in the wasteland and we're coming up on a new location here and it's Walden Pond oh that's that's very good oh is this what the uh, raider was shooting at settlers Open there now So, that's very interesting. Walden Pond. Uh, those of you who don't know, this is the setting of the book Walden by Henry David Thoreau. Uh, excellent piece of literature, and actually kind of fitting for the Fallout universe. He, uh, the writer, Henry David Thoreau, he came here uh, to Walden Pond to live deliberately. Uh, let me pull up the opening lines there, because it... it it is kind of fitting for uh, this book, and I'll totally mar it if I, uh, if I try and recite it by memory. But he came here to live deliberately and suck the marrow out of life. And uh, he lived here for two years and two months, um, just basically living off the land. He built himself a little cabin that he lived in. Um, it's no longer there. Oh, there is a replica, uh, which, yeah, looks exactly like, exactly like this. There's a gift shop, great. Um, so yeah, Walden Pond. So yeah, I'll, I'll pull up the... Hello, and, and welcome to Walden Pond. You are now standing in front of the cabin inhabited by transcendentalist writer and philosopher, Henry David Thoreau, starting in the summer of 1845. For two years, two months, and two days, Thoreau lived in this cabin, hoping to gain a more objective understanding of society. This experiment was influenced by Thoreau's interest in transcendentalist philosophy which believed that people were at their best when truly self-reliant. By living off the land with few material possessions, Thoreau proved it skeptical to think that any outward improvement of life could bring inner peace and contentment. For more information, please visit the gift shop and purchase one of the many books on transcendentalism. <laughs> Also Very good. T-shirts, coffee mugs, toys, and many other items to commemorate your trip. <laughs> Thank you for visiting Walden Pond, sponsored by General Atomics, maker of the Mr. Handy robotic assistant. I like that. So I uh, I pulled up the opening lines of uh, Walden Pond, and uh, I think it is very sort of poignant to the game. 
I went to the woods because I wished to live deliberately, to front only the essential facts of life, and see if I could not learn what it had to teach, and not, when I came to die, discover that I had not lived. I did, I did not wish to live what was not life. Living is so dear. Nor did I wish to pra practice resignation, unless it was quite necessary. I wanted to live deep, and suck all of the marrow out of life, to live so sturdily and spartan-like as to put to rout all that was not life, to cut a broad swath, and shave close to drive life into a corner, and reduce it to its lowest terms, and if it proved to be mean, why then to get the whole and genuine meanness of it, and publish its meanness to the world, or if it were sublime, to know it by experience and be able to give a true account of it in my next excursion. So that's that's the old opening paragraph to Walden by uh, Henry David Thoreau. Uh, is this and uh, y you can you can understand why they. Well, I mean, it's obviously part of the landscape of of uh, Massachusetts which is why they included it, but, um, I can, I can see why they chose to make it a specific location, um, because it, it does have, it does have a lot to do with the game, I mean, when you start off, you really start off with nothing, and you have to survive, and, uh, it's kind of like when you're starting off in Sanctuary, I mean, you have a robot, he didn't have a robot butler, um, I forget exactly what he came to the lake, the pond with, but uh, I think it was like, you know, an axe and some beans and little else. Um, but you kind of start off the game that way. And, uh, you have to, uh, you have to eventually perform some sort of great feat at the end and live life uh, to its fullest and experience all that this world has to offer, which is, uh, which is a lot so far, and we're only got just str uh, scratching the surface. And w yeah, in, in that sense, I'm, I'm also glad that they put this at the beginning of the... Um, I'm glad they put this at the beginning, like near your starting point, because it, it does has a lot of the feel of uh, the beginning of, of a Fallout game. So there it is, yeah, Walden Pond. Um, oh, can go in here. Alright, so let's, let's, uh, let's pause the game here. I'll save it, and uh, next time we'll explore the depths underneath uh, Henry David Thoreau's cabin. Um, oh, and we'll also check out that gift shop. That, that was pretty funny. Enjoy.